I'm sure every one of you people love hardware. For some reason, everyone does nothing but talk about hardware 24-7. Uh, content creators, consumers that buy them, everybody. And it looks like when I was finally starting to feel like we would see some form of games being made for these next-gen hardware, well, current-gen at this point, the PS5 and the Xbox Series consoles, it's looking like we're going to actually see a next-gen version of these consoles sooner rather than later. And I want to talk about it. But before we get on with the video, if you guys enjoyed this video, definitely hit that like button. If you actually want to see more of this type of content, subscribe to the channel. I do weekly content. And don't forget to go over there and follow me at Twitter at LordAddictILP. Without any further ado, let's talk about mid-gen refresh consoles. And it's something I can't stand. What's going on you guys? Gaming out here coming at you for another video. You know, if you've heard me and you've seen my content for a while, I am not the biggest hardware person whatsoever. I've always been one of those people when it comes to hardware, it's, it's something that you use to play what I actually care about, which is the games. But the hardware is important to a point because if you have weak hardware, you're not gonna play it at the best performance you possibly can. Ever since I went to PC to try to play Destiny, I realized that that 60 frame hit different, the 120 frame hit different. So now I'm officially on that. I want stronger hardware so I can play games at at least 60 frames. Now, normally I'm okay if it's, if it's 60. I know a lot of people like above that, but 60 frames is fine for me. But one thing I am not a big fan of is mid-gen hardware. And the reason that is, is because when the Xbox x xbox one x and the ps4 pro came out there was a lot of games that i felt like was hurting this system more than it was helping it for instance when a developer made a game it felt like they had to make sure it ran on the xbox one and the ps4 but it didn't have to run good and you they got the, the vice versa when it came to the ps4 pro and the xbox one x they wanted to take advantage of these hardwares but they still had to have some kind of foundation that could run on the previous gen hardware so i felt like it was defeating the whole purpose of a mid-gen refresh what is the point in having a mid-gen refresh when you're not really getting anything out of it sure you get like maybe stable frame rate which i think it's different from the xbox one to the xbox one x and the ps4 to the ps4 pro than it would be from these consoles to their mid-gen refresh counterparts. I feel like these consoles can can handle what we need them to do. It's just, I don't think the developers and the publishing units and the, the console manufacturers and the industry in general is giving them enough time to really utilize how they want to use these next-gen hardware systems or current-gen. Like I said, like I feel like a lot of games are coming out 60 frames. Even on the Xbox Series S, what I have criticized multiple times, there's games that comes out 30 frames on that, and in a couple months, it gets a patch to make it 60. That's why I'm like, look, we don't need to do this extra stuff with this mid-gen refresh. I don't want to see a PS5 Pro. I don't want to see an Xbox Series X version 2 or Xbox Series S version 2. Can we not utilize 100% of the consoles we have now before we start bringing in extra stuff? Now, there is huge things that you have to look forward to when it comes to this you have better consistent frame rate and that's pretty much all maybe you know next gen updates that is going on in the pc right now that they can imply in these newer mid-gen fresh these mid-gen console refreshes but my question to you guys is it really worth it first off you got to look at probably going to be four to five to six hundred dollars i would say the series x version 2 whatever they're going to call it it's easily going to be a $600 console maybe we'll get surprised and they put it at 5 as the same console now keep in mind it is looking like they put on this board I'll put out the leaked image somewhere around here they think it's going to be a 2024 maybe 2025 game uh, console but even that that's not that long ago we just got these consoles like a year and a half two years ago at that point it would be technically a mid-gen refresh but these games that they've been developing on the Xbox Series X dev kits and the PS5 dev kits, at that point, you'll get like the first wave of games. And then what's going to end up happening is they're going to take 
advantage of the next mid-gen refresh hardware, but they're not going to do anything too much because they want it to run on the Xbox Series S, X, and the PS5. So the, then once again, I'm saying, is it worth it? Because you're going to have to pay this money for it. You're, they're going to have to constantly be shifting between these new consoles and these mid-gen refreshes. You're not going to really get anything significant over it because they're never going to make exclusive content for the PS5, Pro, PS5 Pro and the Xbox Series X version 2. So I don't understand why we're even thinking about this conversation right now. The Xbox One and the PS4 kind of came out very underpowered. But to me, sure, I might not be the biggest person when it comes to technology. Been very vocal on this. I feel like these consoles can handle their own. I don't feel like it's necessary for a mid-gen refresh right now. Sure, maybe if they want to do it in 2025, 2026. At that point, should they just wait another couple years and just launch the new gens? At that point, if we continue to let them have this cell phone model, what is stopping them from doing another one three to four years after that and extending the generation even longer? Look, I get it. It costs a lot of money for research and development when it comes to consoles. But I do feel like to some point, mid-gen refreshes are obsolete. They're irrelevant. They do no purpose. There is very few games that I felt was worthy of a next-gen upgrade when it comes to the PS5, I mean the PS4 to the Pro. Now, like I said, there are certain games that are designed for the Pro and were designed for the Xbox. I remember a scenario where I was playing with a friend on the Xbox One S, and he was playing on the Xbox One X. I guess the game was being run off his system because we would die and he would spawn back first, but it didn't wait for me to spawn in. It took him being spawned in and said, yo, let's start the game. He would literally have to protect me while I'm in the loading screen so I could come back alive. Now, I'm not saying that, you know, that's right or anything. But what I am saying is if you can't find a middle ground for that stuff, then what are we what are we talking about here? Xbox Series S and X, maybe the Series S gets an upgrade, but the X and the PS5, I don't know, man. To me, I feel like it's going to be redundant because you're not going to use the next mid-gen hardwares to the fullest potential and you're going to end up looking around and we're going to get to the end of the generation and you're going to feel like a lot of people were sure the xbox one x was a nice purchase you got a new console you got that new console smell but at the end of the generation it wasn't really worth the price they were asking for now i know a lot more people like the xbox one x because they had a lot more games that was performing drastically better but i remember specifically a lot of people in the community saying they did not like buying that playstation 4 pro at the end of the day and it wasn't necessarily that they didn't think it was worth the money they just felt like the playtime they had on those next gen hardwares well the mid-gen hardware see it's it's complicated to even talk about it but I do remember a lot of people that felt like, yo, I, I don't mind that I spent the money on it. It's just, I felt like the games that was supported on the PlayStation 4 Pro and uh, some on the Xbox One X wasn't worth the hype that was generated with this platform. For some reason, people think mid-gen platforms are gonna I like have drastically looking better games when you don't have the PC on the lower cards slowing down. You don't have the previous gen at that point, which would be the Xbox One X, Xbox, no, Xbox Series X, Xbox Series S, and the PlayStation 5. To a point, those are gonna slow the consoles down. So I'm like, why even bother? But I get it. They're gonna do what they want because they can make money off of it. Hopefully they do a better job than they did last gen with these mid-gen consoles because clearly it's gonna happen. It's not a matter if, it's a matter of when. But like I said, put in the comment section below tell me if you guys want mid-gen refreshes. Very curious to read your guys' comments. And until next time, this is Gaming Addict. I'm out of here. Peace.